Good morning. This is Heather and Eric coming to you live from Guinness and Green and Matthews Mental Health. Um, I hope you're enjoying our awesome filter. We're trying to have a little fun with everything that's happening right now. Our scheduled speaker, Ken Smith, was not able to make it for obvious reasons. We will be rescheduling him. We might do something with the Zoom with him to come in and talk about fascia tissue, but we always want to go live and just kind of talk to you about what's been going on and how this is changing the face of our current reality. So, um, with that said, the filter's kind of there to make it a little bit more fun for us and uh, hopefully a little bit more fun for you as well. But I know in this climate, everyone's really, really freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Um, there's no toilet paper, uh, there's food on the shelves, so the store is pretty bare. Um, but, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, you gotta listen to the news and stuff like that, even though we say it's fake news. Um, you know, they're doing that for the better of the, the curve, they say, right? Uh, so, we don't have a super deep pandemic. Kind of like what's going on in Italy right now. So, you know, our thoughts and prayers go out to all those people in Italy affected by this pandemic. Um, and, you know, they, they're saying that, you know, the U.S. would be a lot worse. So, when they say these things, you know, you really need to take it to heart, um, unfortunately. You know, and it's hard, it's hard to say. I'm, I have family in Italy. And granted, I will openly admit I haven't met a lot of them. They're distant relatives. My, my grandfather and mother side is family. And sadly, they're all aging, so there's a, there's a possibility I'm not going to get a chance to meet some of those people, which is, which is really quite devastating. So I don't want to talk about the negatives of what this virus is doing. There's, there's some positives, and I know a lot of you are thinking this one is crazy, but we have to look at the whole picture. The fact that a lot of people are not out in public and they're not running their cars and running their airplanes and running all over the place. The water in Italy is clean. I mean, I don't know if you guys have heard that on the news. All the canals are clean because the gondolas are not stirring up all the algae anymore. So there's actually fish and swans and the water is actually clean. The smog has lifted over several places. You can't hear us over the music. Okay, let me take off the filter. I hope I can do that while it's on. Let me see. I might have to end this one, guys, and come back because I don't know how to do the filter. So let me see if I can do that while I'm live in session. Let's see. Nope. Okay. I'm going to stop this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about that? Can you hear us now? No filter. No filter. That was fun while it lasted. It was fun while it lasted. Maybe <laughs> I can give us, like, cat ears or some kind of weird cat in the background because you know what? We got to make this a little fun. How's that? Is that funny? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> pandemic! <laughs> pandemic! Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we have a really sick sense of humor. So, as we were saying... <laughs> it's really, away from the cat. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, so what we're talking about is that there's some, there are some good things happening through this. So, I don't want everyone to focus on the gloom and doom. And so frequently in our society, we focus on the bad, the negative, what, how this is affecting everything. But... Let's look at some of the positive things that previously we either weren't aware of or had no control over. So again, the water in Italy is finally green again. Like you can actually see fish because the gondolas aren't stirring up all that algae. So these small changes that we're making in these couple weeks, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't minimize it, I'm sorry. These massive changes that we're making in the way that we live over the next couple weeks could potentially do a lot of repairing for our environment that yeah. could be outstanding for generations to come. And it's a, you know, it, even though we're all trapped in our houses where we feel like it's, you know, midwinter and it's freezing outside um, when, you know, it's yesterday or whatever was the first day of spring, uh, it's a good time to reconnect with the family and reconnect with everybody at your house and, um, you know, and all the loved ones that, that we have, you know, that's, that's really important. I think in this day and age, we kind of forget about that. We're so busy in our day to day environment and our, our busy lives, whether it's work or whatever, that we forget about those really important things that, um, uh, mean a lot to us. Um, 
<laughs> but, you know, it's funny. Um, my friend Rachel Gilmore says the other day on Facebook, she goes, so how many of you would want to take a bet that there's going to be a whole lot of kids born <laughs> nine, ten months <laughs> from now? So, it's going to be like the baby hey, boom baby 2020. Boom, here we come. So, um, so there's... We need to remember that we're all people and we're all here to help each other. And there's a lot of people doing some really amazing things right now. Um, our kids are out of school. I'm sure if you have kids, grandkids, nieces or nephews, they're probably currently out of school. But a lot of school teachers are getting really, really creative. So yesterday morning, my son's teacher, Miss Fridley from Crown Point Elementary, big shout out. She's absolutely an amazing educator. We're very grateful to have her in our lives. She started a zoom channel so all the kids got to see each other and that's really really important right now we need to find ways to continue to engage as human beings i wish i could actually see all of you watching right now but i'm just grateful that you can see us and know that we're alive we're out here and i can see that the little eyeball showing me that you're watching and you're out there and yeah, there's been some great social media posts about like choirs getting together where you see all their pictures like in a Brady Bunch kind of squares and they're all singing and doing um, really cool, interesting things online. Uh, you know, there's a reason we have this technology, so I think we really need to use it. They say, you know, this technology has brought us, you know, further apart. Uh, I think it's time that we're, that technology can bring us closer together now um, when we're trapped in our houses and we're trapped at our, you know, not being able to do our businesses and stuff like that. So... Um, hopefully, you know, it, it will bring us together and we can find really new, interesting ways to use this technology. So. so how this has been affecting our business, we have a lot of, you know, there's a lot of small businesses across the United States. We're one of them. Yep. Uh, we're still not huge. We're not Costco by any means. And we don't have toilet paper. I'm sorry. I know. Look at the cat. Very upset by the fact that oh. we don't have toilet paper. But what we do have is soap. So. We Good just water. want to talk to you a little bit about things that you can do. And listen, you've heard it on the news a hundred times, okay? But it is super important to just keep your hands clean. It, it's, it sounds dumb. So what we've been doing as a store, and I can't speak to anybody else, but because we're considered a clinical space, we are staying open because we do have a lot of patients that we work with and doctors send people to us and we're trying to provide help in that manner and education so we're wiping down our door handles and anything that anyone touches every single time someone comes in with our green room we're disinfecting it every single time someone walks in there our staff is cleaning their hands before they work with you cleaning their hands after they work with you we're not allowing more than two people in the store at a time excuse me but here's the thing that's really throwing me so our home base our corporate office is in north carolina and i'm from chicago go cubs anyway um well, right go cubs. anyway no cubs <laughs> games i know it's sad but being here in north carolina for those of you that are also in north carolina it is also what i like to call yellow snow season so it's the one time of year i can guarantee we always have snow but it's actually pollen I had no idea pine trees could produce this much pollen. So every year our cars are covered and all that. But here's the panic that started happening here, which I found was really, really interesting. And I think it's actually gonna be something, it's gonna get bigger than this. But pollen causes everyone to have respiratory issues. Mm -hmm. Now with respiratory issues being one of the things that coronavirus presents itself as, this is gonna be really interesting to see how North Carolina handles that yeah. going forward because the pollen's already out there it's crazy so i'm grateful that it rained last night because it's washing some of it down washing some of it away but please be kind to people if you see them and you see them coughing a little bit it may not necessarily be the virus it could be the horrible pollen in which we live however that could be an issue because chicago's already put a curfew out california put a curfew out Washington, Washington, did Florida yeah. put a curfew out yet? Not yet so a lot of these states are putting out curfews. There's a really good chance that North Carolina might have to do that too. So there's a lot of local businesses, not just ours, not even just our store, that is doing shipping, delivery, though a lot of delivery is coming to a stop too. I know we personally have stopped doing all um, man deliveries were only doing drop shipping picking up at the store because we didn't want to put our driver in a position where he's going to 36 houses a day that puts him in a position where he's potentially coming in contact with 36 people a day 
So we've just opted in our space to just do direct shipping and so forth. But just be conscious of those around you. Just because they're coughing, it could be the, the horrible allergies. allergies that we have yeah. right now. So, And I know no one can find any allergy stuff at all. So that's also a big problem. Yeah, I think it's important too to, to differentiate between those two is, you know, make sure you're taking your temperature. Um, uh, a lot of time allergies, you're not going to have like a, a high fever. Um, so that would probably be a good a good way to judge, you know, which is which. Um, you know, also um, not, not to, on the delivery aspect, you know, we've launched a, a brand new website. You know, it's been over two years since we've kind of redid it. So we really wanted to get that established and now seemed like the perfect time to launch it. Um, there's, there's a few things um, that are on there that are really pretty slick. Um, and, uh, you know, thanks to Heather for really, you know, spearheading that and kind of getting it off the ground and just kind of getting it out there for you guys. So you can purchase online, you can use credit cards, um, you know, we'll get the deliveries out to you as quickly as possible. So if there is something that you're missing, uh, but know. please check out our new website. It's really, it's really great. And I a mean, lot of stores, like guys, a lot of stores are doing free shipping. Mm -hmm. So it's not just us. So please be aware that. If you have a local vendor that you partner with or a product that you love, go online to their website or call them directly. A lot of stores, just like us, are trying to do everything we can for the community to make sure that the medicine is getting out there and, and what you need. So anxiety is at its absolute high right now. They are now predicting that more people are going to suffer from PTSD from this experience than ever before like we've never had a global a, epidemic like this could, that could cause global anxiety yeah global anxiety is on its absolute high so what does anxiety do right I, we're not doctors but we can tell you anxiety compromises your immune system so the more stressed out you are right now and the more anxious you are and the more you're getting in that fight or flight syndrome and i know it's super hard not to get into it because everything around you is changing and Change is good, but this much change at once can be incredibly negatively impactful on your life. So be conscious of your stress level because the higher your stress is, that means your body is putting way more energy into fight or flight than it is to helping all of those things in your body that you need to maintain health. You don't need to be super healthy when you're running away from that cat. You do need to be healthy to survive this though. So if you catch yourself getting overwhelmed, if you catch yourself getting depressed, if you catch yourself watching the news and you feel your heart rate spike, turn it off. I promise you it's on another channel. I promise, because it's on one channel at least every waking minute of every day. So shut it off for a minute. Take a deep breath. Go for a walk outside around your block while you still can. Even if, if you can't walk, if you're immobile, I know we have a lot of elderly patients that are not mobile, look out the window. The birds don't know there's a pandemic. They have no clue. The squirrels don't know there's a pandemic. The sun doesn't know there's a pandemic. The sky doesn't know there's a pandemic. So take the time to appreciate how beautiful the world is that we live in because it's gorgeous. Yesterday was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. I saw people walking. My son was shocked. He goes, Mom, there's more people outside walking than I've ever seen since we moved here. That kind of stuff is amazing. And we need to try to remember that the world is beautiful and that what we're currently going through, even though it may change our lives permanently, it is temporary. We will change again. The shift will change again and things will go back to our former norm, but hopefully some of the things that we learn from this current norm will change the norm going forward. Um, yeah, and... Um if you do have to come into the store to pick up something, um, you know, we have the air cleaners here uh, that really break down any bacteria and other uh, floating germs that might be um, around. Um, that's a good point. You know, change the air filters in your house. Right. I know yeah, they're not they're not really talking about that on the news, but, you know, they talk about the washing hands. Don't touch your face. Shut up. You know, but. Make sure that you're changing your air filters in your house, not only here in the Carolinas from our yellow snow, but just to capture that airborne bacteria that could potentially be in your home. So make sure you're cleaning your air cleaners because, it, again, it's not just about our store. It's about globally what can we do to support each other. So if there's something that we can do for you to support you during this time, if there's questions you have, 
let us know. I mean, traditionally, if you've ever been with us before, we try to do a lot of education, all right? We try to do a lot of educational talks. That's why what normally this talk would be an educational talk with a guest speaker. So if there's a topic you want to know about, we're not going to limit our talks to the third Saturday of every month. We're just going to do them based on what you guys need because we don't we don't have the luxury of doing the human interaction like we used to. So if there's a topic you want to know about, let us know. I can tell you that um, CBD is great for anxiety, which is one of the reasons that we're staying open is helping people cope with that. So for those of you that don't understand how CBD works, um, I'll give you a quick layman's terms on how it functions. Imagine your body is an orchestra pit. We've all seen an orchestra pit on TV or a movie or perhaps you've had the luxury of witnessing an orchestra play. You've got your winds, you've got your strings, and you've got your percussion. But in the center is a conductor. So when you're born, you have a perfect orchestra pit. Your body is in perfect sync. Every instrument, or in this situation, every organ, knows exactly what it's supposed to do on a cellular level, all right? So the sheet music that your orchestra is playing is, is you. It's your DNA sheet music. So when you're born, everything is in perfect sync. It, it sounds like beautiful music. And over time, that sync goes off, right? So it's kind of like an old Japanese show. Hey, which way did you go? So that, it's funny. It looks really funny when I do that. But when you go out of sync like that, what happens is your body starts to suffer from disease and disconnect, all right? So what CBD does is it acts like the conductor in the middle of your orchestra pit, again, coming up through the middle saying, okay, wait, wait, wait. Even though all of you know how to play your instrument or that organ knows how to function perfectly, it says, okay, you, wait, now you. And it puts your body back in a state of homeostasis. So CBD by itself isn't actually curing anything, but what it's doing is it's putting your body in sync so that it can release hormones and you're not going this way right. too much this way you're right in the balance it puts your body in balance again so it can manage itself our bodies are miraculous machines if you think about it and this is this is going to be mind-blowing when you wake up do you think about getting out of your bed or walking to the bathroom or using the restroom you don't even think about blinking breathing you don't think about your heart beating you don't think about walking half the time. You think about where you're going, but you don't think about the actual action of putting one foot in front of the other. Our bodies create all these neural pathways that generate half of what we do. So on an average day, 80% or more of the activities that you do are completely unconscious. You don't think about driving your car anymore. You don't physically think about foot on the gas, foot on the brake, you know, we just do it unconsciously. So. If you can program your body and all these things are happening unconsciously, if something's out of miss, it's everything is going to fire off place. So CBD helps put things back in perspective so that your body can do what it's supposed to do unconsciously. Does that make sense? So it's kind of a brilliant, brilliant medicine, which is why we're still available here. Helps with an inflammation, but big time right now with anxiety. Another thing that helps with anxiety, which you can do at home, you don't even need to come to us, is drink lots of of water when your body is not hydrated it can mimic a lot of different symptoms that you don't even think about so when you go to the hospital the very first thing they do is hook hydrate you, up, you hook you up to an IV or give you some water right. right so when you're dehydrated your body can mimic a lot of other <clears throat> symptoms so just like water hydrates you on a cellular level CBD is hydrating you on a hormonal and lymphatic level nervous system level so keep yourself hydrated with water and I know a lot of you are thinking yeah great where do we get water there's nothing wrong with your tap water guys turn on your faucet water is still available so don't freak out if you don't have bottled water that that big scare with bottled water had a lot to do with people that had tainted water coming out of their sinks so don't stress out just turn on your faucet if you're nervous about the quality of your water boil it your stove still works yeah this isn't a hurricane. So yeah, just like in Union County, um, they had uh, they found like some E. coli pieces, and they had uh, the boil ordinance on. So I know that's been lifted now for a little while, but um, you know, always something to look at and be be mindful of. Um, you know, if you can if you can afford it, get a house filter. 
Uh, if you can't, you know, the little Brita filters and stuff like that work great too, um, just for a quick, you know, uh, filtration system for yeah. any kind of water that you're drinking. Uh, we have an alkaline water machine here and um, gallon jugs. So if you are in need of any water, uh, please come and see us and we'll get that filtered out for you. And we can even measure your pH balance. Uh, so for, why is that? For what important? level you want to do. Right. So most people don't even know why that's important. Right. So your body's pH level determines how your body processes water. Okay. For lack of better words, there's a much more scientific explanation. So for all of you out there that knows, <clears throat> excuse me, I am allergic to yellow dust. Um, for all of you out there that know the scientific parts of how pH works, I'm going to make this really layman's terms. Uh, really, the You're best way to You're going a little think. scientific for a layman's terms. Okay, <laughs> so an average water molecule is about yay big, all right? A alkaline water molecule is this big. So when the molecule is smaller, it can hydrate your cells on a much more impactful level. A lot faster as well. So have you ever had a bottle of water and you drink it all at once because you're thirsty, you've been outside, you were hiking, you did field day. I know Kelly and I stood outside and did field day and you just chug water because we're hot and you go like this and you're, you can actually hear the water swishing in your stomach. That has to do with the size of the water molecule. Your body is not absorbing it fast enough. With alkaline water and proper pH water, your body can absorb it almost instantaneously so you don't need to drink as much to get as hydrated. Now, there's a common misconception that everyone has the same pH level. That is absolutely not true. Now, are you going to be injured if you don't have the right pH? No, you just won't be hydrated as well as you need to be. There's nothing, so I don't want to scare anybody. Water is water is water. However, some water is more beneficial for you than other water, just like some fruits and vegetables are more beneficial for you than others. It's not, it's not a big thing. It's nothing to be frightened about. So the water that we're offering, because we're not a grocery store, so we don't have bottled water, what we do have is alkaline water that we can adjust the pH specifically for you. And our response to this virus right now is doing wellness scans for free for people. And what that wellness scan does for you is it can actually measure what your proper pH for your body is. So I'm a 7.0, Eric's a 9.5. So when I bring water home for us, I'm bringing home a 7.0, I'm bringing home a 9.5. My son who's sitting in the back drawing right now, he's an 8.5 and my daughter's an eight. So we all have different water that benefits us. Having the proper pH balanced water for you just allows your body to absorb it faster which means your cells are hydrated and they can do what they need to do better to fight off infection but any water staying hydrated at any level is going to benefit you right now so please drink lots of water and now the cdc is saying that even taking a little vaseline and lining the inside of your nose and keeping your mouth moist can help wash the bacteria so if you absolutely if you inhale it or you breathe it in that moisture can help flush it through your system versus it just sitting. So just make sure you're staying hydrated. Right? Thank you. That's your PSA for the day. <laughs> so, and that also goes with CBD too. You know, everybody's different. I could get um, a grandmother who's, you know, 80, 90 years old walking in the store and she needs a 1500 milligram. And then I could get a huge, uh, you know, six foot five uh, basketball player um, who only needs maybe 30 milligrams, you know, so it's it's kind of it's kind of that same difference, right? You know, they're both using it for maybe some pain and some anxiety, anxiety. and stress Long But one might need it just a little bit higher level than the other one So kind of along that same difference, you know, to kind of bring it back into like the CBD world and what we do here and uh, And everything that we have to offer, you know, light therapy is really good too for everything Ooh. that we have um, I don't know if you want to talk about soap soaps soaps. All right Everyone, I, 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 have to, I have to say this because I thought it was really funny. So I go to the grocery store the other day. There's absolutely no antibacterial. But there's like yeah, eight shelves of soaps. Eight shelves of soaps. Okay, so antibacterial stuff is great. But it kills 99.9% .9 of the bacteria. Some of that bacteria on your skin is necessary. It's protective bacteria. It's necessary for you to survive. So we have good bacteria and bad bacteria. The antibacterial squirts kill all bacteria, good and bad. So in your home, we're encouraging people 
don't use the antibacterial in your home. Use soap. So again, we are not a grocery store, so we're not gonna have the levels of soap that Food Lion, Harris Teeter, Walmart, Costco, Dominic's, wherever you are in the country has, okay? What we do have is Dr. Bronner soap. And what's really unique about Dr. Bronner, would you grab a liquid one from behind us? Oh. So what's unique, and I'm encouraging all of you to look at different soaps like this. There's a lot of soaps out there. There's a brand called Snap that some of my friends work with. Some of you might be um, familiar with Melaleuca. That's another great brand. But look at soaps like this that are from a concentrate, okay? And the reason that's valuable is because this little bottle can do about 37 different things. And there's a lot of brands out there that do have a concentrated form of soaps that you can use for this. So depending on the dilution, so it's all soaps are virtually the same base compound. If you grab any soap off the shelf and you look at the base compounds, they're all virtually the same, but the dilutions of them are different. So for this particular soap, depending on the dilution, and all the dilutions are listed on back, they're also listed on Dr. Bronner's website as well as our website, but you can wash your hair, wash your clothes, wash your dishes, clean your counter, clean your car, brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. You should be able to brush your teeth with anything you put on your body. Your skin is the largest organ you have. So the chemicals you put on your skin are really, really important. And if the chemicals you're putting on your skin are not safe enough to put in your mouth, you might need to question the validity of that soap. So look at things like this when you're going through this process of cleanliness and disease because soaps like this not only does it make a smaller impact on the earth because it's a smaller container but they can do several things versus you bogging down with like 80 different kinds of soap when you can have one that does a and lot there, there's a reason it's been around for a while too i mean i was using this stuff in college and we all know that was a long time ago <laughs> so um that's about that's all we have for you guys today but we just wanted to let you know that we're alive, we're here for you, mm -hmm. and if there's any questions you have or a topic you want us to talk about or someone you want us to bring in and talk, there's a lot of vendors that we work with and a lot of um, partners both on the medical side, spiritual side, education side that are willing to do Zooms with us mm -hmm. and just provide information for the community. So if there's anything at all we can do from you from giving us some green let us know. We're happy to be here for you and, and if, support you in any way we can. And, and one last thing is, you know, if you do have any questions about all this, make sure you're calling hotlines, calling your friends, um, checking up on your grandparents, checking up on the elderly people in your life. Um, just, you know, maybe an old neighbor, just to make sure they're okay. You know, um, if they can't get out of the house or something, they may need some water. They may need some help or something like that. And, uh, you know, just lend that helping neighborly hand. Um, it's time we all kind of come together and not not trying to separate each other out and you know have fights in the grocery store over a, a thing of toilet paper. You no, know what I mean? oh, that you know what that's a really good point. So there's a lot of people out there that suffer from addictions that need help right now. So if you know anyone that mm -hmm. normally sees a counselor or you know someone that has services like my son has a speech therapist he normally sees, all of those services are canceled. So if you think about that, I know Eric and I work with a lot of people with addictive personalities. All of a sudden, there's no AA meetings. There's no counseling sessions. There's no therapy sessions of any kind. There's no massage sessions. A lot of massage therapists have stopped seeing people for the safety of themselves and their patients. So make sure you're reaching out to those people and just letting them know there's a lot of hotlines out there eric and i are actually going to put on our facebook page and our website a list of hotlines that you can call for not only counseling for ptsd for this because maybe you've never needed to talk to someone in the past but you're panicking about what's happening right now so we're going to be putting those hotlines out on our facebook out on our social media out on our website and just so that you have resources and i know a lot of these groups too are um developing new websites and new new online stuff where they can get a group together online and you can do like a zoom call or like you know whatever kind of uh, video conferencing that you're using or they're going to use um, they're getting those sites developed right now so you have these resources in the future to um, maybe you can't make a meeting or you can't do this or that um, they're, they're developing online things you know even with counselors you know for like virtual doctors and right. stuff like that Same thing. Um, utilize those tools um, again that's why we have this technology you know back to my previous point so 
Um, in yoga classes, I know my, my friend Mandy yeah. is a yoga teacher, and um, I if I know anything about her, and I haven't talked to her about this yet, so I'm not pimping her out, and all my other yoga friends out there, I know I've got a lot of wonderful yogis in my life. I know that all of them are very savvy people, and they're all working on ways to develop online yoga platforms just so people can still feel normal and have that interaction with people. So if you have someone that you normally go to for something like that, reach out to them and see if they're doing a social media type of post or a digital class yeah. so that you can continue to support yourself because taking care of yourself right now is hugely important. Meditate. There's great meditation tools out there. Um, Mind Space, is that what it's called? Mind Space? I so. And there's a lot of free meditation apps out there. YouTube has a lot of great meditation and yoga, but make sure you're doing something for you right now. Don't turn what's happening in the world into a massive negative. Find positive things. You can garden. Maybe you didn't have time to do for that before. Now you can, you know? So make sure you're making time for you and you're taking care of you, not only physically, but mentally it's just really important and again if there's anything we at get me some green can do at all to help you please let us know thank you Definitely. for all of you who tuned in and watched this morning um, it's just kind of our way of trying to support the community we love you guys we're here to support you in any way that we can please stay healthy we'll and get this posted out and stay friendly yep. stay nice to each other because right now that's gonna go a long long way we have to show our kids that something like this doesn't stop us. It just makes us stronger. And don't freak out like the cat. Uh, crazy cat. All right. Have a great day, guys. Let's see if I can stop this. All right. I'm going to get real close and personal.